Hi everyone and welcome to another uh, Photoshop tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how I uh, created this 3D uh, Space Invader character by simply using the Photoshop rectangle tool and um, the Photoshop uh, 3D uh, filter. It's uh, quite easy uh, and quick um, so let's get started. I'm going to start with a new um, document it could be any size document you want uh, this is an A4 document and the color I used was uh, this light blue here's the numbers if you wish to uh, plug it in but I'll have the information in the description box so I'm going to start off by adding the main uh, body shape now this is going to be for the purpose of this video I'm just going to rush through this it's going to be quite rough uh, just uh, when you come to do your one take your time so that's that's the body. Now I'm going to apply the sides. By simply just duplicating uh, what I've already uh, used. I'm just going to bring it down a bit and maybe bring this in a little bit more. But like I said, uh, I'm I'm just rushing through this uh, without any guides to help me. Uh, when you when you're doing your one, just please take your time, uh, line them up nicely, and I, I would suggest using the uh, the ruler uh, to line them up as well. Like that there, move it up a little bit. This, uh, this top one, I might pull it out just a little bit. Then I'm going to duplicate one of these, bring it here, resize it, control T, and move it across to the edge. Duplicate that as well. And Bring it over here to this side. Then I'm going to duplicate that again. I control Command T, Control T. And I might bring this up a little and nudge it up a little bit. Again, duplicate that one. Move it across here. Okay, and then I'm going to duplicate that again. So basically, all I did was uh, use the tool and just duplicate um, the uh, uh, the shapes to reuse them again. Uh, bring this across here, about there. I nudge this down a little bit and this too. Then again, another duplicate. Oops, it's over here. Duplicate and over there. That's the basic shape. Now uh, I want to add the eyes. Now I'm just going to use the main one here. Just um, just want to add this. I want to show you something here quickly. Add turn that to black. And again, duplicate this. There. Now I'm going to merge these two black um, shapes together. So I highlight them, right click, and go down to merge shapes. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to control, I'm sorry, command click on the layer so it highlights highlights both like that. So I just all I did was command uh, click or control click. Then I'm going to the this is the main uh, the main um, uh, the body of, I guess of the uh, of the character, and I'm going to add a layer mask. Now. It all disappeared. All I want is this black, uh, the eyes to disappear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the layer mask, 
Command I to uh, bring it back, and now that's actually um, uh, basically I made holes in in the in the uh, see through like a you know holes in the in the main body. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine all of this into a uh, folder, into a group. I'm going to right click and duplicate the group just in case something goes wrong. I can refer back. I'm going to double click and call this finished. I'm going to hide this group. Now I'm going to right click and convert to smart object. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to 3D, new 3D excursion of selected layer. And I'm going to go into current view. Make sure I've got uh, this selected here, the orbit 3D camera, and just move to the way you would like to see it or the way you like it. about there then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the finished I'm going to click on the back here uh, and I'm just going to bring out the properties so I'm going to click on the back here I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to change sorry I'm going to change the color to a, a to maybe a A, a, like a, a lime green I'm going to click OK on that and then I'm going to bring up the glow just to bring up the color a little bit I'm going to leave the metallic about 12 and go back to my layers panel and that's it there now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually because each time I click on that uh, the 3D layer it's going to bring up all my um, 3D um, Feature. So I'm going to right click and convert this to a smart object. So now I'm finished with that 3D part. Now that's it basically guys. That's um, You can do other things by finalizing it with a few styles. For example, uh, I'm going to bring in a um, uh, maybe a, uh, a, um, a texture just to add some texture to it. Command T on the finished character and then on the texture just add a um, layer mask and go to soft layer and you can bring the opacity down. That's basically it guys. Um, I hope you got something else. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you liked the video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing to my channel. Um, also, the comment below, let me know what your thoughts are. I'm always happy to hear your feedback on my videos. Thanks for watching.